In 1981, Donkey Kong made a big impact in the arcades with its unique and colorful characters and engaging gameplay. The game became the hit Nintendo desperately needed and led to two direct sequels, Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3. But after their short amount of glory, the apes were put into the shadows as Mario stole the spotlight for many years to come. Until 1994, when Donkey Kong returned in a completely new adventure of the Super NES, Donkey Kong Country. In 1993, the UK-based developer Rareware managed to impress Nintendo with a tech demo featuring pre-rendered 3D graphics. After a few successful meetings, Nintendo greenlighted Rare's idea for a new Donkey Kong platform game using the same pre-rendered technique. Donkey Kong Country was among one of the first games to bring this graphical style to a console and quickly became one of the best-selling 16-bit titles on the market. On top of the introduction of his new sidekick, Diddy Kong, the ape was reimagined to fit the new 3D style, and his world was greatly expanded with new friends, villains, and locations while keeping some original design aesthetics. Donkey and Diddy Kong began their new adventure with the goal of retrieving Donkey Kong's stolen bananas from the Kremlings under the command of the evil King K. Rool. Their journey takes them through 33 beautifully designed levels, ranging from treetop villages, misty mines, and chilly mountains complete with impressive atmospheric effects and equally impressive music. Donkey Kong is best suited to take on more heavily armored enemies, while Diddy Kong is lighter and more maneuverable. You can switch between the two at any point during the game. DK can also utilize the surfaces of his Kong relatives. Cranky Kong, whose specialty is sharing hints and advice. Funky Kong, who provides transportation to and from various levels. And Donkey Kong's love interest, Candy Kong, who helps you save your game progress. Along the way, our duo can also call upon their animal buddies, including Rambi the Rhinoceros, Winky the Frog, Unguard the Swordfish, Expresso the Ostrich, and Squawks the Parrot. The groundbreaking graphics were backed up by solid gameplay and innovative level design, as well as a reasonable learning curve and countless bonus areas that add to the replay value. When the game was first revealed on a trade show in 1994, people were under the impression that it was running on next-gen hardware. Part of the secret behind the groundbreaking visuals were Silicone Graphics, a manufacturer of high-end workstations who was already trying to enter the video game market. Silicon Graphics found a valuable business partner in Nintendo and Rare. Rare invested in their workstations in 3D software, which were supposed to be used on games for Nintendo's upcoming console, the Nintendo 64, but was first put to use on Donkey Kong Country. The 3D graphics were all rendered on the high-end workstations and were afterwards manually tweaked so they could be used as 2D sprites and tiles that work within the Super Nintendo's color and memory limitations. All the artwork combined demanded a 32 megabit cartridge, which was considered to be massive at the time. The sequel, Donkey Kong Country 2, marked what could be argued as the series' high point and marked the introduction of Dixie Kong, with her ability to use her hair for a multitude of functions, including grabbing, flying, and attacking. This pirate-themed follow-up featured even more crisp graphics and added many new secrets for players to discover. The last chapter in the trilogy once again returns to the tried-and-true platforming formula and introduces the new playable character, Kitty Kong. As opposed to Donkey Kong Country 2's pirate theme, Donkey Kong Country 3 has more of an outdoor adventure feel. However, it wasn't as successful in earlier installments, selling only 2.89 million copies, compared to Donkey Kong Country 1's 9 million copies and Donkey Kong Country 2's 4.37 million copies. There were also ports for the Game Boy under the title Donkey Kong Land, and ports of the Donkey Kong Country trilogy released in mid-2000 on the Game Boy Advance system. To this day, the legacy of Donkey Kong Country lives on in new outings on Nintendo's latest consoles, most notably Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii and 3DS, as well as Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze due for release on the Nintendo Wii U.